Hey guys, I hope that you're okay. I hope that you have been uh, enjoying uh, your time at home. Um, I hope that you did well in your tests and I hope that you assisted to the class on Monday because you were supposed to remember that you have to assist to every class in order to understand all the directions and instructions through the week. Okay, so today we are going to uh, read um, on your uh, textbook pages six and seven, Grass, Grandpa's Light Show. So as you always know, we are going to start by writing the date in your, in your notebook. So we are going to write reading fourth grade Today is Tuesday. Remember everything in your notebook. Tuesday, October the 6th, 2020. Just like this, see? Reading fourth grade. Today is Tuesday, October the 6th, 2020, like we always do. And we are going to write the name of the story in your textbook. It's Grandpa's Light Show. So maybe we can be creative and write it in color. Let's see, I'm gonna write it in purple. Karen's best, uh, favorite color. Grandpa's Light Show. Page six, just like this, okay? Grandpa's Light Show, page six. Remember, all the answers to the questions that we do in these classes need complete answers, just like we were doing yesterday in the class, so don't forget that so you don't make any mistakes. Ready? Okay. So if you want, you can uh, put the video in a smaller window, open your book, and you can read with me while you listen. You don't have to see me. You just have to listen what I say while you follow the reading, okay? There we go. Grandpa slideshow. What would you think if you saw colored lights moving across the night sky? I don't know if you ever seen those uh, um, fireworks. They come, they're, they're like uh, they're firecrackers, but if you set on fire, poof, 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 they're beautiful. They're really beautiful. Okay, so. Cameron and Grandpa were preparing for Cameron's parents to arrive for the weekend. So we're still talking about Cameron that went with his grandfather to take a trip around the island. <clears throat> He's with the grandfather still. First, they opened all the windows so the cabin would smell like the fresh ocean air. <sighs> they were close to the ocean. Grandpa did three loads of laundry. That's a lot of clothes. They were dirty and he had to wash them. And Cameron helped him hang the sheets to dry on the clothesline. When you're washing your clothes and you have to hang them so they dry. Then they picked two buckets of blueberries. Mmm, enough to turn our fingers and our tongues blue, said Grandpa. Those are like strawberries, but they're blue, blueberries. It was just before dinner time when Cameron's parents arrived. They were exhausted from their long drive and ready to relax. They were driving. Maybe they were coming from, I don't know, La Mosquitia or Gracias a Dios. Is that the same place? Because they were coming from a very far place. Wait until you see what we have planned for dinner, said Cameron, hugging his parents. He gave them only a few minutes to change their clothes and unpack before he led them down the path to the beach. They were going to the beach at night. That must be a very dangerous but fun activity. Grandpa had already started a small fire in the fire pit. I had no idea you two were such good fishermen and cooks, said mom. When she sampled the fish and roasted corn, remember that he went fishing? Cameron fished a lot of fish that this state's wonderful. It reminds me of summers in Maine when I was a girl, she said, smiling and patting grandpa on the knee. Oh, on the knee, sorry. I thought the grandpa uh, patting on the back. Um, it gets even better, I hear, said dad. When's dessert? Mom, dad, grandpa, and Cameron were eating their blueberry sundaes on the porch when streaks of green, yellow, and purple shot across the sky. It was a beautiful sight on the sky. 
Did you see that? shouted Cameron, jumping out of his chair. What do you think that was? It looked like it could have been a spaceship or something. Mom began to laugh. <laughs> that, she said, was the perfect ending to a perfect day. Those are the northern lights, Cameron, said Grandpa. I'm so glad you got a chance to see them. Spring and fall are usually a much better time than summer to see them in Maine. Look, there they go again, said Dad, pointing to a flickering of pink and pale green light over the water. So they kind of look as bright as a firework, but these, these kind of lights look like small waves of light in the sky. Look, there they go again, said Dad, pointing to a flickering of pink and blue, of pink and pale green light over the water. But what are they? asked Cameron. I guess you could call them a color light show in the night sky, said Grandpa. You can only see them in parts of the world that have high latitudes, which means the areas are closer to the poles. Tonight is the perfect night to see the northern lights because it's clear and moonless. That means that closer to the poles is like if my hand was the world, this part is the North Pole and this part is the South Pole. So you would be able to see the northern lights closer to these poles because they're closer to the top and the bottom of the world. Cameron sat back down in his chair and picked up his bowl of ice cream. Grandpa, I think I just might have to move to Maine. There is definitely too much to see here in just one vacation. So I guess that at the beginning, Cameron didn't really wanna go to his grandparents because he thought that it would be boring because he only wanted to sleep. He didn't wanna go into adventures. But at the end, he discovered that there's a lot of fun things you can do in vacations with your grandparents. And as you can see in the picture, it looks beautiful. We can see grandpa and Cameron and, and dad and mom and all the flickering lights in the sky. I'm gonna leave you a video in there so you can watch how do they look. Now let's go to the activities in page number seven. So I'm gonna read them. Remember, you can either copy them in your notebook or you can print this page and answer them in there, okay? So, write C before the groups of words that describe Cameron and G before the groups of words that describe Grandpa. Now, groups of words are words that describe someone. For an example, if I had to describe myself in one word with a, with a set of words, I would describe myself with food, because I love eating, gray, because that's my favorite color, uh, movies, because I love watching movies, books, because I love reading, and uh, salt, because I'm not too much into sweet stuff, I like salty stuff. So um, those would be words that can describe me. But now we need to write C for the words that describe Cameron and G for the words that describe Grandpa in the lines. So number one says, said that spring and fall are very times for seeing the northern lights. Who said that? Grandpa with a G or Cameron with a C? You have to choose. If you go back to the story, you will find the answer. Number two, thought the northern lights were a spaceship. He thought that they were an alien ship flying in the sky, and I don't think that it was Grandpa. So who do you think it was? C for Cameron or G for Grandpa? I'm sorry if you hear a veil. My cat is playing with it and um, I think it's just like music, so I'm not gonna stop it. Number three, started a fire in the fire pit on the beach. Who was that? If you go back to the story, there is a part that says he started a fire in the fire pit. In paragraph number three, I'm gonna give you an example of how you can find them. It says, grandpa had already started a small fire in the fire pit. So you already know if you're gonna write G for grandpa or C for Cameron. Number four, wants to move to Maine. Now that he knows that vacations can be this fun, he wants to move to Maine. Who is this person? G for grandpa, C for Cameron. And the last, said blueberries would turn their fingers blue. Who was this person that were picking blueberries and said that they would turn their, their tongues and their, hair and their fingers blue? Go back to the story at the beginning, you can see where the answer is. 
G for grandpa, C for Cameron. Later we have write T before the sentences that are true and F before the sentences that are false. Cameron and grandpa bought some blueberries at the store. True or false? Mm, did they buy them? Grandpa picked up Cameron's parents at the airport. Did he go to get the parents or the parents were driving to their house and that's why they were tired? Mm, true or false? Dinner reminds mom of summers in Maine when she was little. So as you can remember, Cameron was saying how fun it was and then mom said that it was funny because she remember when she was little. So true or false? Number nine, grandpa has never seen the Northern Lights before. Mm, living in Maine and he has never seen them? Mm, I don't know if it's true or false. The Northern Lights are usually seen only in places with high latitudes. Is that true? Remember that they should be in the poles. So what do you think? Are the poles really high? You should write T for true and F for false. And in doubt, you can go back to the story. Number 11, name one thing Cameron and Grandpa do to prepare for Cameron's parents. Now, what do you think they do to get ready for them? Well, they were preparing some, mm, so you can answer this way. Cameron and Grandpa prepare for Cameron's parents by preparing some food, getting ready on the beach, making some dessert. There's a lot of things that they did. Then we have, check the meaning of underlined word in each sentence. Now, number 12, Cameron and Grandpa picked two buckets of blueberries. Now, they picked them, they chose them from options, or they gathered them. So if you go back to the story, you can read where is the word. It says in there. Number one, Cameron and Grandpa were preparing for Cameron's parents to arrive for the weekend. First, they opened all the windows so the cabin would smell like the fresh ocean air. Grandpa did three loaves of laundry Grandpa, uh, and Cameron helping hang the sheets to dry on the clothesline. Then they picked two buckets of blueberries. So see, I just found the answer by reading the story again. That's what you should do. So what do you, what do you think? Cameron, you need to write the meaning of the word. Picked is to choose because you have multiple options or to gather them, to reunite them, to get them. Check on the one that you think is correct. Later we have, Cameron thought the Northern Lights looked like a spaceship on the sky. Looked could be appear or stared. Stare is to look at, I'm, I'm staring at you. There is to look, but appear is to have the same appearance of something. So for look like, that it looks like a spaceship, I would not choose there, but I don't know about you. Number 14, you can see the northern lights in parts of the world that are closer to the poles. What do you think? Lo the poles, remember that I told you about the world that has North Pole and South Pole? The poles are long, thin sticks or the most northern and southern parts of the air. I already explained it. What would you choose? A long, thin stick or the most northern and southern part of the world? Okay, so remember to answer them in your notebook if you don't want to um, photocopy, uh, print this page because you don't really have to. Um, and write the date and everything. Remember that on Friday you have to give away every classwork for the weeks and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't send anything till Friday. See you guys.